so I did a thing today. I had some canvas fabric in my stash and I decided I was going to alter this and stain it with Distress Inks and coffee. This is after it's been all stained and crumpled and dried overnight and then ironed and I ironed and ironed and ironed and got all of the wrinkles out. What you see here is from the ink. So this is actually the back side of it. I think it's beautiful. It's like a soft, um, kind of a romantic type look to it, like maybe a shabby chic look to it. I love all the markings. Look at that, how yummy is that? This piece is probably mm, maybe a yard and a half to two yards long. Wait till you see the back or the front side. Like I say, this is the back side. Oh, that yummy goodness. Yep, I will do this again. So now we have what I was considering to be the front side, although I think either side of this is going to work. This one is more of a grungy look to it. It's not like, it could still be shabby chic, um, but it's, it's more grungy. I don't even really know at this point which one I like the best. They're both so very, very pretty. I think next time um, I'm going to do some on muslin. I think that would be easier to iron. This was a booger to get ironed. Those wrinkles from scrunching it really just did not want to flatten out. I steamed ironed it and it still was difficult. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I guess beauty is in the eyes of the beholder and and to me, this is just really, really pretty. So the process that I did to get this was I, um, I washed my fabric first and then I um, dried it and scrunched it all up, which it seemed to want to hold the scrunch even at that point. And then I sprayed it with tea. Then I got out my, well, I'm not sure which ink pad, I'll have to look that up. My, one of my, I think it was worn lipstick, um, Distress Ink, and rubbed that and then decided that wasn't going to do it for me. So I got the re-inker and I started dripping ink all over the place. And while I was dripping it, I was spraying it. I mean, I was really soaking in the water. And then I got the coffee out and I sprayed it with coffee. And then I scrunched it some more and added some more of the worn lipstick. I'm really quite surprised that it's not brighter than what it actually is. But I think I'm glad. The journal that I want to work with with this, um, I dyed some papers with uh, beetroot. And I think that they are going to match really nice. Here's some lace that I used with the beetroot. I mean, look how nice that's going to match up with that. And let's see. Okay, and here's, here's some papers that I dyed with the beetroot. I just think this is going to be really, really nice together. I used stencils and got those designs on there. So my lace and my papers and my cloth. I did some fabric with it and I did some cheesecloth. What a nice combination, right? Okay, well, stay tuned if you want to see more of what I've been doing. Talk to you later. Okay, here's what we have with the fabric and the cheesecloth. 
the lace and a beet dyed piece of paper all on this what was going to be my back side which is more like the shabby chic side of this fabric now I think it's going to be a really good combination guys so hit like and subscribe so you can keep tuned in with what's going on here at Art by Bedell. Have a great day.